This is a presentation about phase changes by Daniel DeMaster. So I'm going to be explaining how a solid goes to a liquid and then goes to a gas. I'm also going to be explaining about how a gas goes to a liquid, goes to a solid. This is a water molecule, or other people like to call it H2O. Okay, it is built up of one oxygen and two hydrogen. Okay, so we're going to start with an ice cube in a bowl. Now, since the ice cube is a solid form of water, what happens is that all its particles are lined up. They still have a little bit of room to move, which they move around a little bit, but they're normally just in a little ordered fashion. Now, if we heat up that ice cube, it's going to start melting. Now, melting is the process that the solid goes through to become a liquid. So after our ice cube is done melting, it becomes a liquid that we call water. At a particle level, the water molecules are not in a very orderly fashion compared to the ice. They're all bunched up and all over the place. They're also moving faster because of the energy that was added to the molecules through the heat that has been added to make the ice melt. The next part is to get this liquid form of water to the gas form of water. We do this through vaporization. There are two ways of vaporization. There is evaporation and boiling. Evaporization is having just the surface of the water vaporized, while the boiling is having the whole body of water vaporized as a whole. Boiling occurs when the temperature is above the liquid's boiling point. During vaporization, since more heat was added, the particles get more energy, and some with enough energy fly out, becoming gas. Either way, the liquid turns into a gas. Now we're going to turn the gas back into a liquid. We do this by condensation. We have to cool down the bowl so that when the fast-moving particles hit the cooled surface, they lose some energy, eventually ending up as moisture on the bowl. The moisture builds up and turns into the water we had. The last thing to do is turning the liquid into a solid through the process called freezing. To make the freezing process begin, you must turn down the temperature to below the liquid's freezing point. All the particles end up losing so much energy that they practically stay still. But not quite. Remember, they still have that little room to move around. And that's how we go from a liquid to a solid. So hopefully now you know that going from a solid to a liquid is melting, liquid to a gas is vaporization, going from gas to liquid is condensation, and liquid going to solid is freezing. Thank you for watching.